on the ice now is Claire Benson, who hopes her last three years with Julian King, who has a flawless record for coaching champions, will cinch her that gold medal today. into a festive spirit. And why not? The energy and emotion she has brought to the ice is incredible. If she can land her triple axel, she may take that gold. And she's setting it up. Oh no, a devastating technical error for Claire Benson. Looks like it'll be silver for Claire Benson tonight. What do you think for the front door? Um, that one. Oh, yeah. I thought so, too. OK, about a Christmas tree. Um, want to go this weekend? I have to train this weekend. Uh, so I guess that means you forgot the Stuart Christmas brunch? No. <laughs> Nationals are just a few weeks away before Christmas. Baby, you never stop. <sighs> I'm fine. And Julian's just trying to get me to where I want to go. That's why Dad hired him. Yeah, well, your dad pushed too hard, too. Maybe if he hadn't, he'd still be here. Look, if you want, we can go and get a treat this weekend. Oh, sweetie, that's not the point. Claire, when is the last time you went out with a friend? Mom, I'm just saying, there, there may come a day when you regret not having lived more life outside the arena. Look, the only thing I will regret is never making it to Worlds. I'm gonna go shower. Toe, Claire, toe, toe, bring those arms in, come on. Compress, Claire, come on. Let's go, focus, again, arms in tight now. Claire, get up, get over here. You gotta keep that energy into it, okay? You're slowing it down, all right? You gotta keep the energy going. What is wrong with you? You're distracted or? I'm frustrated because I'm not nailing the jump. Hey, what do I always say? Don't get frustrated, get focused. Right. I know, but I can't have a repeat performance at Nationals in four weeks. Claire, we made a promise to one another after last Nationals. What was it? I promised that I wouldn't give up. Mm-hmm. And I promised I'd get you to Worlds. Now let's go. Again. All right. Get up, let's go again. Come on, it's colder sitting down than it is skating. I don't think I can. Well, the good news is there's no sign of any fractures or sprains. The bad news is your Achilles is in pretty rough shape. What are we talking about here, a sprain or a tear? Most likely a tear, uh, which isn't surprising. I mean, Claire, you and I both know that you've been dealing with tendonitis for quite some time now, and we've been supporting those injuries with cortisone. What's the recovery time? Four or six weeks. I barely feel it when I walk. How bad can it be? Come on, Claire. You know, just because you don't feel it doesn't mean you should stress it. Which is why rest and, and a lot of... Um, thank you very much, Doctor. Would you mind if we just had a few moments here? 
yet. Thank you. I'm gonna have your medical records sent to Westridge Rehab, okay? You can fly out in the morning. What? That's all the way up in the mountains. I, I don't need to go up there. I love your commitment, Claire, but we need you in top form for nationals, and Westridge has the best accelerated program in the country, okay? Trust me, we'll have you back in a few weeks. <sighs> well, Julian, it's no secret that you have an unbroken record for getting your skaters to the World Championships. Is Claire any different? Absolutely not. In fact, I'll promise you, not only will Claire make it to Worlds, she'll get gold at Nationals. Well, that certainly puts a lot of pressure on you, Claire. Don't worry, my girl will do it. <sighs> we should be at the Westridge Clinic in about 20 minutes. Enjoy the scenery. Okay, thanks. These roads are terrible, hang tight. Oh, what's going on? The roads aren't clear, we could be stuck. Stuck? Chains? Excuse me. Nope, no chains. Could you let's get back on the road, please? Uh, nothing I can do now without chains. You'll have to wait for a tow. But I can barely get a signal on my phone up here. Um, look, I can call it in when I get back to town. Okay, great. How long will that take? It could be 45 minutes, an hour, and that's assuming he's not on another job. There's one tow truck. Yeah, yeah, Joe is your man. This is ridiculous. Stuck in the middle of nowhere. How far is it to the Westridge Rehab Clinic? It's 20 minutes by foot, but I wouldn't recommend it. Not in those Peter Pan boots. I can give you a lift. I'll be fine, thank you. Careful of the wolves. You don't want to lift. Okay, sure, but if they didn't have all these bags, I would be fine. <laughs> yeah, right. You, uh, you need a hand with your luggage? This is fine, thanks. I can manage. I'll put that call into Joey. Great, thank you. Um, Luke. Luke. And you are? Claire. Claire. Well, Claire, welcome to Westridge. Thanks. Welcome to Westridge. We have a room all ready for you, so you can warm up. Um, when can I see a doctor? Ooh, let's see. Your first physio appointment is at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Oh, um, can't I see someone now? Oh, no. It's after four. Time for rest and recovery. <laughs> <sighs>
You all settled in? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, Joey made sure that your ride made it back down the mountain in one piece. Right. Yeah, thanks for helping me out with that. That's what we do around here. We help each other out. Well, then how come I end up doing all the heavy lifting? Claire is my good friend, Lou. <laughs> Luke and Lou? That's cute. Ah, Peter Pan boots. I just wasn't prepared for all this snow. Nah, don't worry about it. Most city folk aren't. Well, we should get going. We got a lot more wood to deliver. Well, thanks for all this. Hey, a gentleman for. Tell you what. <laughs> Use up as much as you like and uh, don't burn it all in one place. <laughs> okay, night. Keep warm. Thanks. Um, except for those explosions, what was that? Oh, those are just the charges they set off to prevent an avalanche. Avalanche? Don't worry. We haven't had one. Not recently, anyhow. Okay. Your tendons are suffering with micro tears, not just in the Achilles, but in the posterior and anterior tibial as well. Have you been treated with cortisone in the past? I have to compete. Well, unfortunately. The muscles have been weakened, and that's why you're getting these injuries. Well, I feel strong. Do you? I have to be in top form for nationals. Well, we'll start with a combined program of IMS, shockwave therapy, the traditional physio, and my favorite, rest. But if you bind it, I can still skate, right? You can, but absolutely no jumps. Yeah, for what, a week? Four. Four. They said it'll be four weeks before I can even work on my job. Four weeks? Well, that's impossible. The Nationals are in four weeks. I know. I told you I shouldn't have come here. Anna, from your toe! Lift from your toe! Who's Anna? Just a junior skater I'm assessing. Anna Wolk? Isn't she my competition? I'm not training her, Claire. Listen, you obviously need to get back on the ice, so I'm going to talk to your doctor, all right? Claire, remember, you're strong. You been down on the lake checking out the ice lately? Yeah, she's clearing off the snow this morning. Still too thin in spots for any fishing, but that cold snap we're getting should have it set in a couple days, don't you worry. Excuse me, Luke. Oh, uh, hey, Claire. Hey, do you know, um... What do you think? It's pretty festive, right? Yeah, it's um, really nice. Do you know where I could get a price gate sharpened? Yeah, uh, at the tax shack just across the square there. Oh, perfect, thank you. You're welcome. What? Let's cut it out. Hello? <sighs> Great. I guess Joey runs this place too. Oh, it's you. You're everywhere. I was hoping it was whoever runs this place. I mean, how did they expect us to wait for 20 minutes? Oh, well, sometimes you gotta put things on hold to give a hand. Tis the season, after all. Mm -hmm. It's your shop. How can I help you? I, um, didn't realize. That's all right. I can get it. These city folk don't like to wait. Now, I'm out those skates. Yeah. Um, could use a sharpening, but... I doubt you know the correct hollow radius. I'm guessing you'd prefer a 3 8 radius rather than a thicker one. Am I right? Um, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll make sure they're nice and level. So, how did you injure yourself? I fell while training. Beggar skater, huh? Lucky guess. And what are you, like the town handyman? Why would you say that? Well, so far you deliver wood, put up decorations, and sharpen skates. 
<laughs> All right, I get it. Well, to be honest, I didn't have much time for anything before. So now maybe I'm, I'm making up for that. So I guess you'd be the guy to ask if there's a skating rink nearby? You looking for an indoor rink? Because that closed down a couple years ago. There's an outdoor one, though. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but it's ice, and everyone skates on it. And would the shuttle know where to drop me off? Yeah, sure. It's right by the clinic, but it's closed today. Closed? Why? Oh, the Pattersons booked it for their son's birthday party. The whole rink is closed for a kid's birthday? Yeah, that's right. Well, that should do it. Here you go, give him a feel. Wow. I think you got these sharper than back home. But what do I owe you? Ah, uh, first one's in the house. Plus, I did make you wait. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Have fun. Excuse me, could you just let me off here? Thanks. covered me today. No problem. I know if you don't get a bad tree today, you'll be in trouble with a little miss. Yeah, you know I am. Stop by later for dinner. Never pass up a home-cooked meal. Great. We'll see you tonight. You got it. Thanks again, Phil. We'll see you later. Yeah. You have got to be kidding me. Hey! Hey, Claire! Why? Because it's not safe. It's totally fine. Oh no. It's breaking. Okay, stay there. Stay right there. Don't move. I'm coming to you. Blue, stay, hurry. Stay right there. Do not move. What do I do? Just stay put. Look at me. Look at me. Just look up at me, okay? okay? As fast as I can. Yeah. Take my hands. Okay. And don't let go. Okay. I got you. Okay? Come with me. Slow, steady. Okay, all right. Now here we go. Ready? Ah! Is your foot frozen? No, oh, yeah. Well, that was a close one. So, what were you thinking? Closed. I mean, who closes an entire ring for a children's birthday party? Claire, did you not read the sign? What sign? Of course, because who would look for the danger sign? Well, why wouldn't they put it where people can see it? Well, because most people up here know where to look for it. <sighs> okay, well, obviously I've been in enough trouble, so I I'm just going to call the clinic. No, no, let's get you some dry clothes. My place is nearby. What a beautiful home. Come on. Let's get by that fire. Uh, let's take a seat right there. Okay. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll just get you some dry clothes. You, uh, you comfy? Yeah.
are you doing here? Uh, I am just a friend of your dad's. Hey, sweetie. How was the skating party? Fun. We got candy canes in our loot bag. What is Claire Benson doing here? How do you know Claire? Dad, Dad. She's a famous figure skater. Are you here training? <laughs> um, no, not really. Then what are you doing? I am just staying at the rehab clinic. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah, kind of. Can you still skate? Sure. You know you're a lot prettier in real life. Did you bring any skating costumes? <laughs> okay, um... stop interrogating our guest. Let's get washed up so we can start decorating, okay? Can you make hot chocolate? Of course, it's tradition. Now go on. <laughs> Sorry about all the questions. No. Chamonix's eight, and uh, apparently that's an inquisitive age. Uh, uh, here, I, uh, I brought you pants and socks. They're not fancy, but they're dry. Thanks. Uh, there's a spare room just down the hall. She the last one to go up? Please. All right. You ready? Here we go. Got it? Got it. Cool. How's she look? Beautiful. Do you want to help? Uh, no, I should probably. Ho, 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 ho. Uncle Lou! <laughs> Oh, how's my little angel? Look, Claire says she's beautiful. Ooh, well that it is, Luke. You found yourself a real looker out there. The tree, I meant. Uh, yeah, yeah, Claire, she just needed some help off the ice on Fraser Lake. Wait a minute, mm. you were out on the lake? Claire's a figure skater. <laughs> you know, I, I don't care if she's the sugar plum fairy, no one goes out on the ice yet. Didn't you warn her? There is a sign. Luke, come on, man. No one reads the signs. Exactly. Shannon, why don't you and Uncle Lou get going on the tree and I'll start dinner. Claire, will you be joining us? Oh, um, no thank you. I should get back in train. Okay, I'll give you a ride back. No, really, I've been more than enough trouble. Oh, no, I've got to drop an invoice off at the clinic. It's no trouble. Hey, Lou, I'll be right back. We'll be here. It was nice to meet you, Shemini. Bye, Claire. I hope you get better. Thanks. Okay, so let's uh, try and find those other tangled balls of light, shall we? Ugh. Oh, oh! It's a shame we missed the sunset. They're, uh, they're really something up here. <laughs> they sure are, Miss Benson and Luke. Always a pleasure to see our most eligible bachelor this side of the mountain. It's <laughs> nice to see you too, Patty. Hey, could you pass along this invoice for the firewood, please? Anything for you, handsome. So, uh, you're a famous figure skater, huh? <laughs> and you're a professional hockey player, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw the picture at your place. Mm. So who do you play for? No, I don't actually play anymore. No, now I'm just a dad and the local handyman. Mm. Well, um, I should, I should get back. Lou's probably getting hungry. Right. Um, hey, thanks again, and I'll make sure I get these back to you. I don't worry. I know where to find you. And seriously, watching the sunset behind the snow-capped mountains, it's one of those things, if you're lucky enough to see it, you shouldn't miss it. Have a good night, Claire. Good night. He sure is a cutie. And such a good father to that little girl. And, um, Shamani's mom? I heard she left when Shamani was just four years old. 
Why anyone would leave that man and that sweet little thing is beyond me. But I guess we all can't see what we're blessed with. Can I help you with anything else tonight, Miss Benson? Oh, um, is the gym still open? I, I know it's after four, but... Your room key should unlock it. Well, good night, Patty. Good night. What are you doing? Not much. Is that the oven timer? <laughs> yes, it is. I just pulled out my last batch of Christmas cookies. Uh, are you getting any rest? Not really. I'm frustrated. I can't drain properly. And... I don't know. I'm feeling kind of restless. Must be all this mountain air. I thought the mountains were supposed to have a calming effect. Well, I'm not so sure that's working. You know what? I was going to send you a box of cookies, but now I'm thinking I might just deliver them myself. You shouldn't be alone. It's almost Christmas. Mom, I'm fine. Honestly, don't worry. No, I miss you. I'm going to get these cookies packed up and myself packed up and get there as quickly as possible. Now you just get some sleep and save your appetite. Okay, Mom. I love you. I love you, baby. I can't believe Claire Benson was in her house. She's one of my favorite skaters. Is uh, she really? I hope she gets better so she can compete in nationals in a few weeks. Is she a medalist? Uh-huh. Two bronze and one silver. She hasn't won gold yet, so she has to get better. Well, hopefully she takes the time to rest and heal. Okay, let's get you to bed. Today, are you? Because we got some fresh powder last night. You'll be in over your ankles. Well, I can't exactly run in boots. No, but you can ski. Hmm. Hey. Claire, are you skiing? I'm trying to. Well, I wouldn't suggest going down such a big hill in cross countries. Thank you. I wasn't actually planning on it. But you can toboggan down it. <laughs> I really wasn't planning on tobogganing. But you have to. It's the best toboggan hill on the mountain. Oh, I, I don't know. Come on. You can come up front with me. Okay. Hey, wait up. Best toboggan hill ever. Thank you. 
Market I had planned. Yeah, but I bet it was more fun. Julian, what are you doing here? Look at you! I'm making sure my girl is being properly cared for. Luke, this is Julian, my coach. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, Julian. Likewise. Uh, Luke was just helping me out with the whole skiing thing. It's a great way to train in the snow, right? It's actually a really good workout. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we should get going. Sweetheart. Yeah. Thanks for everything again. Yeah, of course. Uh, pleasure, Julian. Luke? Bye, Claire. Thanks for the tobogganing. You bet. Anyway, we better get going. Got that busy appointment in 10. I'm sorry. I've only got really large bills. That hurt? No, it's fine. See? She'll be as good as new in no time. And then you can say you run an accelerated program. Connor, get in on that rebound! Can't believe the clinic didn't invest in an indoor rink. I mean, look at this. It's like a pond. <laughs> There's snow all over the ice. Maybe we should come back in a little bit. Excuse me! Hey, excuse me, excuse me. Luke, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, easy. I got it. About how much longer before the ice is cleared? Uh, practice will be over in 10 minutes. Then you're gonna bring out the Zamboni and clear the ice? I don't have a Zamboni, just have shovels. Wow, Ryan, nice shot. Loving it, buddy. Claire, I'll be right back. boy. All right, Sean, let's line it up. Oh, she loves coaching those kids. And they're lucky to have them. Not often a kid in minor hockey gets a former pro that coaches him. How long ago did Luke play? Uh, well, he's been up here for three years, so four years ago. Mm -hmm. But he was the best when he played. I imagine every one of those kids has his poster on their wall. Really? Huh. I had no idea. Yeah. He was MVP three times. Of course, I understand if you're not up on your hockey stats. Hey, that a girl, Chamonix! Nice! Hi, Claire. Did you come to practice, too? I sure did. Hey, Uncle Lou, did you know Claire won silver at the last national championships? What? I had no idea. It's OK. I understand if you're not up to date on your figure skating stats. <laughs> Got me. Have fun. I can't find anybody to clear this ice. Uh, well, that would be me. But I won't get to it for about an hour. Come on, you, you don't expect people to be able to skate on this, do you? Maybe, maybe you can make an exception and clear it off a bit earlier today. For Claire? Right. Yeah, for, um, for Claire. Thanks, Lou. My pleasure. No problem. All right. Okay, boys, keep it going. Thanks, buddy. Let me guess, Achilles? Yeah. yeah. I've torn mine more times than I can count. May I? Sure. So, 
How many times have you injured it? <laughs> More times than I can count. <laughs> you find it's healing up as well? Slower than usual. Just frustrating because I need it to heal faster. Yeah, it's tough. Being an athlete, knowing your body's not keeping up anymore, I guess it's something we all face. Just try not to be scared of it. Because the other side, it's not so bad. Is there a problem, Claire? No, I was just putting my binding on. Oh, let me help. Yeah, maybe she should take a break and not overdo it. <laughs> Thank you, but after coaching for 10 years, I'm pretty sure I know what Claire needs. Let's have a look. It's okay, I've got it. You think I could learn to skate like Claire? Sure, why not? Come on, let's go home. to work through the injury, Claire. Don't let it hold you back. Remember, you're strong. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't feel strong. Mind over matter. Claire! Mom! <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Julian! I didn't expect to see you here. Lovely to see you, Del. Mwah. Mwah. Julian surprised me. Couldn't let my girl work through this on her own. Mm. God forbid you leave her alone for too long. She might actually get a life. Oh. Mom, um, did you get your room? I arranged one for you. Oh, I didn't know I could stay here. Oh, it's always quiet just before the holidays. We have plenty of room. Oh, and you shouldn't miss the annual Christmas tree decorating tonight. Oh, that sounds lovely. Where's that happening? In the town square. Everyone goes. Really? Everyone in town? Oh, yes. There's hot chocolate, a bonfire, caroling. Oh, and of course, the Christmas tree decorating. Ooh, sounds perfectly Smallville, but we're going to have to pass. Well, speak for yourself. I'd love to go. Claire? Um, well, maybe we could go for just a bit. Fine, but I'm going to, and we will return no later than 10 o'clock sharp, okay? Ta-ta! Well, it's been over 30 years since I've had a curfew. I hope we don't get grounded. <laughs> <laughs> this brings me back to when I was a little girl. Our town had a tree that everyone decorated as well. What about you, Julian? My town had nothing for me. I left when I was 10 to live with my aunt so I could pursue my skating career. Well, that must have been hard for you, being without your family. Well, like my father said, second is only the first loser, and I didn't want to lose one sec. Hello? Anna? Anna, I can barely hear you. Just hang on one second, all right? She's trying to get me to coach her, but don't worry. You're my girl. Anna! Claire, did you come to decorate? <laughs> we did, but we don't have any decorations. Oh, we, um, we have plenty. Hi, Lou, this is my mom. Hi, it's a, it's a pleasure, Mrs. Vincent, but widowed. You can call me Dale. <laughs> and you are? Chamonix. Is your dad here? Oh, you bet I am. Daddy, this is Claire's mom, Dale. Ah, oh, nice to meet you, Dale. Glad you could join us. Well, I couldn't leave my little girl alone at the holidays. So, um, how did you all meet? Oh, well, um, Prince Charming here saved your daughter from falling through the ice. Well, then I guess she would be her knight in shining armor. Mom, why don't we get juice and apple cider? I happen to know exactly where it is. It would be my pleasure. Well, how can I refuse? <laughs> right this way. Daddy, why is Uncle Lou acting goofy? <laughs> uh, here, got that new owner. Look. Wow, did you make that? Uh-huh, you hang it on a Christmas tree and make a wish. I wish Claire gets better so she can become a world champion. Thank you, Shamani. So, I bet you're a pretty good hockey player with your dad as your coach. I'm okay, but I really want to learn how to be a figure skater. Really? Uh-huh. I watch all the competitions. Hey, 
Maybe you can teach me some moves. Oh, I'm sure Claire's too busy for that. Are you kidding? I'd be happy to. How about tomorrow? We could get the Dixons boy in to cover at the shop. Thanks, Daddy. Thanks, Claire. Excuse me, can I have everyone's attention, please? It's that time of the night when I, I call upon all the brawn of our men and women to help prepare for our annual Christmas Eve bonfire. So, grab an axe and let's see what you got. Julian, I know you said you won't be here, but we could really use your, your help. I mean, unless you can't wield an axe. I can wield an axe. Hmm. After you. Oh. All right. Come on, Claire. Let's go. Well, the man sure has a lot of brawn. What about yours? I really don't think Julian should do this. I was talking about Luke. Oh, well, he's not my man. And Julian is? No, of course not. Well, he sure is acting like a jealous boyfriend. And you're allowed to have a man in your life, Claire, other than your coach. And stuck. You need a hand? No, 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 no. I got this. Thank you. Oh, ah, Julian, ah. are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I'm okay. Okay, it's time to go. But you can't. You'll miss the tree lighting and the caroling. Some people have more important things to prepare for, little girl. Besides, isn't it past your bedtime? Hey, you don't get to boss everyone around, especially not my daughter. Claire? I'm sorry, Jean-Louis. I have to go, but I'm... I'll meet you tomorrow morning at the rink, okay? Good night. Okay? Good. You don't have to worry about him. Last time I heard you sing, you were a little girl. How's Julian? He's lying down. He'll be fine. As long as his ego heals. How about you, baby? I've always been able to heal so quickly from a, a fall or a strain, I mean, you know. But this time, it's like, no matter how hard I try, no matter how hard I push, it just can't get there. What would happen if you didn't compete? Baby, I'm not trying to upset you, I promise. It's just... Well, at some point you're gonna have to walk away. Why not before you're... you hurt yourself badly? I know, but I just... What? I don't know what I would do if I couldn't skate. Do you remember what you wanted to be when you were four years old? A veterinarian. <laughs> and a fashion designer. Well, and a firefighter. And a mom. Sweetie, there's still plenty for you to do. 
You have so much ahead of you. No matter what Julian says. It's new, right? Ah! Julian. Ah. I hear we have a new patient. I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not so fast, not so uh, fast. Uh, I gotta train, I'm in the middle of training. Uh -huh. Right now you need to relax, and let me take care of you. Okay, Julian, I'm gonna head to the rink without you, but feel better, okay? okay. No, 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 no. It's okay, I got this. Whoa. Come ah, on. what? This leg up. What? This leg up? Yeah, this leg. This leg out. Ow. Nice. Easy, easy, easy. Arm over. I'm Arm frightened. Over. Arm over. You're going to be just fine. You're in great hands. Uh, you can sit up a little bit over okay. the shoulder. Over, over the shoulder. shoulder. Very good. Over okay. the shoulder. Grab your butt now. Okay. There we go. Are you sure you want these skates over your hockey skates? Yes, I'm sure. I don't know. Yes. There she is. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. Claire, look. Those are nice. I love the pink laces. I got them from Santa last year, but I never really use them. Daddy prefers hockey over figure skating. Oh, really? Well, maybe we should get your dad some pink laces to match. <laughs> okay. Okay, you two. It's time to hit the ice. <laughs> so good. One more. Ice! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> you did it amazing! Did you see that, Daddy? I sure did. You're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's right. You are a natural. But I think we should call it a day. Aw. I know. But trust me, nothing good comes from pushing too hard, all right? And I promise we'll come back again. Let's go. Daddy, Claire says we can do it again sometime. So when? Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll figure that out. Now, why don't you get your boots back on so you're not late for your sleepover at Maya's, okay? Thanks, Claire. Oh, you are very welcome. You're an excellent pupil. Well, you're a great coach. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm sure you probably took time out of your own training to do this. Well, Julian's out of commission, so. All right, how is Julian? Um, he'll be fine. So is he just your... Coach. Yeah, yeah he's just my coach. Right. Yeah, I was just asking because it seems like... He is very protective of me. Of course. Well, look, if, um, if you don't plan on training today, I'm going to be hitting the ice, doing some fishing if you want to come. Didn't you warn me to stay off the ice? I don't worry, it's solid now. You could just drop by the shop in about an hour and, and, and I could set you up with a rod. Well, why not? My ankle could use the rest and I'm sure Julian's in good hands. Day, isn't it? Oh, Julian, you're up. I am, and feeling like an Olympian again. That woman is very strong. <laughs> How was training? Oh, um, it was good. It's really great. Excellent. Well, let's have a light snack and then get back at her. Oh, um, you know, I think I might have overdone it just a wee bit, so I thought taking the rest of the day off would be best, just so I don't set myself back. Okay, just a gym session then. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about experiencing some of the local culture, like ice fishing. Really? And who would you be experiencing this with? Luke. Uh, but just because he knows what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Local culture, huh? That actually sounds like a really good idea. It, it does? Yeah, it does. Excuse me, sunshine. Get us a shuttle, would you? Okay. Thank you. 
Mike's gonna join us fishing. Oh, well, I'm glad to see we didn't put you out of commission. I'll just, uh, I'll get the snowmobiles ready. You do know how to drive one, right? Yeah. Great. Uh, we'll clearly need to get you suited up in something different. I got a few things for you, too, and I'll, uh, I'll grab you a helmet. I'll be right back. Something different? Oh boy, just in time. The fish are just starting to bite. Oh, maybe for you, but I haven't had a nibble all day. Oh, stop your belly aching, old man. You're just worried because the wife told you if you don't come home with fish, don't come home with anything at all. <laughs> Looks like you got the girlfriend with you. Oh, no, oh, no we're, we're not. We're not. not. It's... All right, okay, here I am. Snowmobile stalled. <laughs> Must be old. Let's do some fishing. Oh, here, let me, uh, let me get some bait on there for you. You know what, I got it. I can do it. Okay. Julian? <laughs> uh, actually, no, I'll just, I'll stick with the lure there. <laughs> now, now, boys, when I first got up to this mountain, I didn't know much about ice fishing either. You got that right. We let it slide, what with him being so great on the ice in other ways. Really? Young, how so? Young man, you are sitting with ice royalty. OK, come on, guys. Luke was one of the best hockey players in his day. If it wasn't for that dang injury, he'd still be one of the best. So you quit? No, I didn't quit. I chose not to put my body through any more abuse. Ah, uh, well. Sometimes, as athletes, we need to push ourselves in order to achieve greatness. I myself won four gold medals even while my body was tired. Because, uh, unlike you, I never gave up. I think I'm right! You definitely got one there. All right, all right. just jig the line a little bit. Okay. There you go. And now a quick tuck. Let it go. Reel her in. Here we go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. Is it? George here wishes he could get one half that big. <laughs> but you know what, George? You can bring this one home to your wife. Oh, whoa, 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 I got one too, I got one too. I got one too, okay, cool. I got, one. Let your land I got on this, one. I got this. Okay, all right, oh, it's a big one, I can feel it. You know, you're tugging too hard, okay? Oh, oh yeah, here it comes, here it comes! Yeah. Ah! Oh. Oh. Fellas, how's the, uh, how's the fishing going? Make sure I get that hanky back. I'll take the machine back. You got it, Phil. You'll be okay, Julian. They'll take good care of you at the clinic. Ah, don't worry, sweetie. He'll be fine. You just enjoy yourself. Lou and I'll make sure he gets that uh, lure pulled out of his bag. And when you get to the clinic, have them page Dr. Schmidt. Dr. Schmidt? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait! No! No, 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 not Dr. Schmidt! Not Dr. Schmidt! I'm sorry for what Julian said earlier. Sometimes you just can't see past the wind. That's okay. Hey, have you had a chance to check out any of the scenery yet? Are you kidding? Really? Well, come on then. Beautiful. Just wait for it. You know, for 
first time I saw the sunset over these mountains, I thought, maybe there is more for me than just hockey. I mean, I love the game, but I lost a lot when I quit. Shamani's mom, she, um, she walked out on us when Shamani was four. Mm. I couldn't do it anymore. Piecing my body back together and pumping it with cortisone long enough so I could keep winning. I knew eventually the pieces would fall apart. Mm -hmm. Mine are already starting to. And I know you said not to be scared, but I am. So what's your story, huh? Why'd you start skating? My dad. <laughs> he worked a lot, but the one thing he always made time for was skating. Mm. He'd take me to the local rink and we would just skate for hours <laughs> until our toes were numb. I loved it. Made me feel like I was flying. It was my dad's idea to get me into figure skating and I won my first trophy and that was it. I was hooked. Mm. That's all I've known for 20 years. 23 years. That's how long I played hockey. Wow. And like you, I couldn't imagine anything else. But when I let it go, that's when I realized everything I'd been missing out on. Having more days to spend with Shamani, watching the sunset, shoveling my neighbor's driveway, or um, just spending time with someone who makes me smile. The chances that get a signal up here. Yeah, what are the chances? It's probably Julian. I should go. Okay. Pretty sure you made my daughter's day. <laughs> and mine. Maybe I can coach Shamani again tomorrow. She would love that. Okay. I'll meet you guys at the rink. Um, after 10? Yeah, we'll be there. Okay. I'm gonna go inside. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Happily sleeping thanks to some pain medication. Hi. And how are you doing? Taking it easy, I hope. Actually, I have been resting a bit. Good. I'll see you tomorrow for physio. Thank you for, uh, for a wonderful evening. Thank you. Until we meet again.
<laughs> Good job. Wait, I almost forgot. I made you something. Nice moves out there. <laughs> Daddy, do you have it? Uh, yeah, 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 I got it. There you go. <gasps> Thank you, Shamani. <laughs> you can hang it on your Christmas tree and make a wish. Unless you're here for Christmas. Maybe you can hang it on our Christmas tree. Oh, um, well, well I don't know. Uh, should we grab hot chocolates? Daddy, I have an idea. You should come skating with us. Oh, I think that's a great idea. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't bring my skates, sweetie. They always have spare ones by the rink. Please. Please. How can I say no to that? That's all they had. <laughs> I guess I should uh, give up my dream of becoming a hockey player, huh? <laughs> I'd say she'd probably prefer pink skating costumes over goalie padding. <laughs> How about you? Do you ever play hockey anymore? No, not really. Why not? You said you loved it. I guess after a while I just stopped thinking about playing. Because I was afraid if I picked the stick back up again, I'd regret walking away. Well, I know that when it's my time to walk away, I'll always skate. Because when you love something that much, you shouldn't let it go. <laughs> All right. What you got? <laughs> Lovely. Perhaps just a little unsteady on the last half rotation, but other than that, not bad. Claire, I see you've been using your practice time wisely. I mean, it's not like you've got a competition to be ready for in two weeks. Yeah, I didn't see any harm in... It's my fault. She was actually just doing me and Shamini a favor. But she does have a real knack for coaching. Oh, well. When she goes on to win a championship like me, then she can coach to her heart's content. But until then, she's all mine. And as you're all warmed up, I guess we should get started, huh? Before the ice melts? Actually, Julian... I'm just gonna let my body rest. Besides, I have that physio appointment in less than an hour anyway. Shamani, I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Uncle Lou, guess what? Daddy was skating with me and Claire. Oh. He was, was he? Well, I think Daddy might have been showing off for a girl. Daddy, do you like Claire? Uh, Lou, did, uh, did that ski wax we ordered get, come in? She's real pretty, Daddy, and she skates. You like to skate, right, Daddy? You know what, Gemini? I think our good friend Lou here might have a little bit of a crush on Claire's mom. Uncle Lou, is that true? Yeah, is it? I'm gonna go look for the ski wax. Are you gonna marry her? Nope. How old is she? Don't care. Is she gonna come live here? Thanks, Luke. <laughs> Tendons aren't as tight. See? 
That's what resting just for a couple of days will do. Good, good. We can finally get back to working on your triple axle. Oh, I didn't say she was healed. That will still take time. We don't have time. The body's on its own schedule, not yours. Mm, unless we help it along a little bit. I wouldn't recommend that. It's fine. It's okay. Claire has used cortisone before. Let's just do it. Actually, no. I don't want it. Not anymore. Claire. Claire. What's going on? What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me, Julian. Really? Because you're not acting like the athlete I signed on with. And I only agreed to coach you because you have the same drive as me. I won't let you ruin my record, Claire. Well, I'm sorry about your record, but this is about me. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, uh, you, this is about you. I want this, I do, but I can't keep pushing if my body can't do it. That's nonsense, the ability to be able to do it is all up here. No, Julian, it's here. And my heart is telling me something different. Claire. You promised me you wouldn't give up. Oh, Claire, I was just coming to see if you could join me for dinner later. I found this adorable little creperie when Lou took me on a tour. Thanks, Mom. I'm not that hungry. I'll see you later, okay? Sorry, we're just closing up. Julian, can I help you with something? I hope you can. You see, it appears Claire isn't quite as focused as she was before she got here, and I'm guessing it has something to do with a retired hockey player. I'm not telling her what to do, if that's what you're thinking. Clearly, that's your job. Exactly. It's my job to make sure she achieves what she's always wanted, and being a world champion is what she's always wanted. I mean, maybe you gave up on the dream, but believe me, Claire will regret it. She will regret it if she doesn't go for it. I should know. I've been training her for the last three years. I've been there when she struggled, when she's been so close she could almost taste it, and when she soared because she got it. And. I just don't think that you can say the same in the few weeks you've known her. And I'm sure you don't want to be the one who crushes her dreams, because if you do, she will never forgive you. Sweetie, your nose is turning blue. Just a new logo, please. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go down. Hey. Hey. Can I, uh... Bend your ear a bit, maybe. What about? It's Julian. Him. He wanted me to get a cortisone shot, you know, to help me along with this competition, but I told him I didn't want it because, I mean, it's like you said, there are only so many times I can keep putting the pieces back together again. So, uh, I have a feeling that after this competition, that'll be it. Which means that I can 
go ahead and, I don't know, see what else was out there for me. Are you sure about that? I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's not the right time to quit. But what makes you say that? <clears throat> I know how this place can make you feel lost in the moment. I think it's important you stay focused on your dreams. Daddy! Claire, look! I got a gingerbread kit. Maybe you can help me do it. You know, I, I don't think so, honey. Claire's got a very important competition to prepare for, and we shouldn't bother her. Come on, let's get you home. It's probably just, uh, yeah, it's a school night. Right. Yeah. Sweetie, a couple more days of school and then Christmas break. Oh, that's your bus. Have a great day. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Hey. Do you want me to charge Phil for the skate sharpening? Yeah, sure. How much? I don't know, 15, 20? And what about his reel? Same thing. All right, what's going on? What? You haven't charged Phil for anything since the day we've opened, so what's muddling that brain of yours? Was it Peter Pan boots again? No, no. And besides, it's not like she's ever gonna come back here or anything. Well, not unless you ask her to. Why would I do that, Lou? I mean, she's got a career. And it's just like her coach said. Just because I quit doesn't mean I should be convincing her to do the same thing. What does that scarf-wearing troll know anyway? He knows Claire a lot more than I knew. Hey, he may have known her longer, but you know exactly what she's going through. When you first came to this mountain, you were a wreck. I mean, heck, even today, you won't pick up a stick or, or play shinny or nothing. So if she's going to get to the other side of this, she's going to need someone like you who's been through it before. Besides, if you ask me, you two are meant for each other. So what are you doing here? Come on, I'll close up. You go tell her how you feel so I don't have to pull you out of the doldrums again. Nah, I don't know. Listen to me. Go, okay? Come on. Get out of here. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Lou. No problem. Chop, chop, ladies, we got a plane to catch. Claire. Claire, is this what you really want? Mom, let's just go. Hey, ladies! First nationals, and then we're off to the world championships. Hey, Patty. Did you tell me where to find Claire? Oh, sorry, Luke. You just missed them. Miss Benson and her party already checked out. She's gone? That's right. Miss Benson left you something. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, there he drove out of sight. 
Merry Christmas to all. And to all, all a good, good night. night. Daddy, will Clara ever come back? I don't think so, sweetheart. But we can get you another figure skating coach. Not like Claire. Come on, let's get you to bed. All right, little miss, get some sleep. Christmas is just a few days away. Sweet dreams. Remember the Christmas you got your first pair of skates? Yeah. They were the ones with the pink laces. <laughs> That's right. Oh my goodness. Your father was so excited. He couldn't wait to get you out there on the ice to teach you to skate. And then when you came back from the rink, he was beaming with pride. You caught on so fast. <laughs> and you were glowing. You had so much fun. And if it ever stopped being fun, I think, I think that would have broken his heart. When you set up for your triple axel, I want you to bring that energy, okay? That power we talked about. This is no time for hesitation. Yeah? And a wonderful performance by Anna Wolf. Okay, Claire. This is it. This is our time. And now on the ice is Claire Benson, who cinched silver at last year's Nationals after failing to land her triple axel, costing her the gold. That's right, but if she can nail that triple axel today, who knows? Come on, Claire, Maybe come she'll on! she'll get that gold and a spot at the World Championships. Dad, come quick, Claire's on TV! doesn't she?
a triple axel. Incredible. train for worlds, right? Actually, Julian, I'm done. Sure, yeah, of course. We can take a bit of a break a couple of days over Christmas. No, I mean I'm done competing. What are you talking about? You just you just secured a spot at Worlds. I know, I'm sorry. You're sorry. Claire, this is what you've always wanted. You can't walk away now. It was what I wanted, but I told you I can't keep putting my body through this. And as scared as I am to walk away, I know it's going to be okay. What, what am I supposed to do now? I think there's a new skater on the circuit who could use a coach like you. Anna, great job out there. Perhaps more extension, but we can work on that. That was a cool spin. Yeah, it was. Merry Christmas! Claire, you came back! <laughs> I, I did! Do you have to leave again? Well, I don't want to. What I really want is to be here skating with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Claire. I thought I was holding you back. You have nothing to be sorry for. You're not holding me back from anything. Besides, my dreams have changed. You're just the one that showed me I have nothing to be afraid of. I just know how hard you worked for it and how bad you wanted it. And trust me, this is what I want. And I have so much more to look forward to. I hope. You do. Got us some more for me? I got a some more and a whole lot more. <laughs> hey, lover boy, want to play? <laughs> What's happening? I just invited a few of my old buddies out for a game of pickup. You're going to play? Sure, why not? <laughs> I love the game, and you're right. If you love something, you don't ever let it go. Hockey? Well, it's my turn to teach you. Okay. So you hold it with your good hand. All right. When you get the puck, you go back and forth. Um, These guys look try good. and get it from me. Yeah? Just try and steal it from them? Yeah. What you do? What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> well, 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 here it is. <laughs> 